Each year, 13,000 Americans die of malignant brain tumors, most of the most aggressive type of primary brain tumor, and they're tough to treat. But now a vaccine is generating new hope. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. My finger. When 53-year-old Kathy Montag was diagnosed in January with glioblastoma, she knew the prognosis. Kathy has been a neurosurgical nurse at Overlook Hospital in Summit for more than 30 years. I was hysterical because as a nurse, I knew when they told me, this isn't good news. Overlooked neuro-oncologist Michael Gruber says glioblastomas are the most deadly primary brain tumors. Half of all patients die within a year. This picture shows the invasiveness, and it's on both sides of the brain. This is a cancer that has invisible tentacles that spread throughout the brain that are beyond the reach of an MRI. Dr. Gruber, who directs the Brain Tumor Center of New Jersey, thought Kathy would be an ideal candidate for a six-month-old clinical trial involving a personalized cancer vaccine. It's called DC VaxBrain and is made from the patient's own tumor by scientists in a lab in California. By presenting a whole array of peptides that are found in that patient's tumor, we think we can get a better immune response than if we were using something off the shelf. Overlook Hospital is one of only a dozen sites in the nation, and the only one in New Jersey, that offers this glioblastoma vaccine trial. Dr. Gruber is the lead investigator. Kathy is one of 250 patients enrolled so far. Patients who are candidates for the vaccine must be newly diagnosed and have not yet received any other treatment. The vaccine is delivered over a three-year period after the tumor is removed and after the patient has received chemotherapy and radiation. You've now had four doses of this vaccine. Do you notice any difference? Are oh, you? Yeah, I feel really good. I feel strong. I, I don't feel sick at all. You're feeling like this may be working for you. I do. I'm coming back. Did you hear? Oh, good. Kathy Montag plans to resume her nursing career after Labor Day. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News Summit.